Hey guys, Jack here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. And I have here the new iPhone SE. This is the third generation that just launched in 2022. And this is going to be a simple and quick walkthrough on how to set the phone up for the first time. So if you're coming from, from an older iPhone like iPhone 6 or even an iPhone 8 or the previous SE, or you're coming from an Android phone, this is going to be the video for you. Just a simple setup video. So all you need to do is once you've unboxed it, is switch it on by holding the power button on the top right hand side there. Go ahead and wake up the phone and then press the home button down here at the bottom to get into the setup. And you'll need to select your language. So in my case, I'm going to select English. Then you'll need to select your country or region. So in my case, I'm going to scroll all the way down and select the UK. You now have the option to do a quick start. So if you have a previous iPhone, as it says here, running iOS 11 or later, you can bring that phone nearby and it will go ahead and pop up a message that you can transfer things like your apps and photos, contacts, everything across, all nice and simple. So if you have a previous iPhone, you want to set it up as was, you can use that feature. If you want to set it up as new, go ahead and set up manually. Or if you have an Android phone, you can download an app to transfer things across, but you will need to set up manually. So we're going to go ahead and press up set up manually but if you want to transfer everything across and use it as your old phone you can bring that near and do the quick setup next you have the option to connect to the wi-fi network so i'm going to go ahead and connect now and once you've entered in your password it should go ahead and connect to the wi-fi if we just give it a second here and you can see it's all connected. It's now going to go ahead and activate the iPhone. So as it says, this can take a few minutes, but it should be pretty quick. And you don't need to have a SIM installed for this to happen. So you can do this whole setup without a SIM card installed. So we'll go ahead and give it a few seconds. There we go, it's all done. Now you need to go ahead and hit continue here for data and privacy. Now we have the option to set up Touch ID. So unlike a lot of the other iPhones, that have Face ID on the iPhone SE, you still have Touch ID down here at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and say continue here and you have the option now to set up a finger. So we'll go ahead and do the right thumb and all you need to do is go ahead and place it down on the scanner repeatedly. Just cover the whole finger there and then it's saying to adjust your grip. So get the edges of your finger. So maybe the top and the sides here just so that it gets all the angles on your finger. And there you go, nice and quick, complete. You now have to set up a passcode and you have a few options. You can do a six digit, four digit, or numbers and letters, but we're just gonna do a six digit one here. So I'm gonna keep it very simple here and use anyway. So you all know the password and give it a second. I would recommend something more secure. Now we have the option to, again, restore from a previous uh, backup. So you have iCloud backup here. You have restore from a Mac or PC, transfer from an iPhone, which is similar to that quick setup. Then the option to move data from an Android phone. So you'll need an app on your Android phone to do that or select don't transfer anything if you want to set it as new. So in this case, I'm going to set up as new. So don't transfer. But if you have photos, contacts, you can do an iCloud backup. If you have your phone backed up to your PC, you can do that. If you have an iPhone, go ahead and select from iPhone. And if you're coming from an Android phone, you can say move data from Android. But I'm going to select the bottom one here. You now have the option to sign into your Apple ID. So this is going to allow you to download apps, your music, get iMessage, all of those features. So I would recommend uh, if you don't have an account signing up and if you do sign in now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off screen. Then once you've signed in, you will have to agree to the terms and conditions to continue. So just go ahead and tap agree down there at the bottom and then just give it another few minutes to set up the Apple ID. Normally pretty quick. All right. So once that's done, it's now telling me how my iPhone will be set up as I've had a previous iPhone. If you didn't, you wouldn't have any of these options, but it's just telling me all my previous settings that I had. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. It's then asking if I want to add any cards to my wallet. In this case, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit set up later. But if you did have 
um, any previous cards in your wallet app and you want to transfer them, you can do that there. Now I have the option to set up Hey Siri, so I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And it's just telling me about how to activate it. So you press and hold the home button at the bottom there. And you have the option to share audio recordings or not now. So go ahead and hit hot not now. Then the option for iPhone analytics. So you can share them if you wish, or you can hit don't share at the bottom there. And there we go. We can say get started and we land on the home screen. So it's asking if I want to use this iPhone for sharing, I'm going to go ahead and hit not now. And if we head into settings, this is the first thing I recommend doing is scrolling down into general and then into software update. Just check if there's a software update. In this case, it is fully up to date. But if you're getting this phone a few years, a couple of months down the line or a few years down the line, then just check there's no update. And there we go. That's how you set up the iPhone SE. This is the third generation model, as I said. If you have any questions, do post a comment down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you found this video useful, do please hit that like button down below. It really helps out the video and the channel. And if you're new, get subscribed over here on the left for upcoming videos. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.